All right, what's up, boxing fans? It's Aztec 101 in the ring. So, um, let's talk about Mikey Garcia and Lipnitz. Pretty good fight. Pretty good fight. Um, as far as the fights on Saturday, I really like the Oscar Valdez and Scott Quigg fight. But um, this one had a lot of action, too. I mean, very, very, very good fight. Uh, Lipinets, he surprised me. I, I think I, I think he turned out to be a lot better than what I expected, um, a lot tougher than what I expected. And he showed, he showed he has heart. He got knocked down, got back up. He tried being in the fight as much as he could. He was just fighting a, a, a more technical fighter, someone that's a little bit more well-rounded. Um, not as one dimensional as, as Lipinets. Lipinets is, is, is a very athletic fighter. He's, he's good. He, he's very good. I think, I think there's a good chance that you're working to see more of Lipinets, but, um, but he was just outclassed. Um, Mikey Garcia, he's, he's impressing a lot of fans and he's becoming very popular. Um, now that he's at 140, the one thing that I want to see from him is I, I would like for him to, yes, get some more titles in his division. Absolutely. Fight some of the other champions. But overall, I would want him to fight some of the guys that were previously champions at 140 and they moved up to 147. Because I know Mikey Garcia was talking about moving up to welterweight. And I know he's mentioned names like Errol Spence and Keith Thurman. They'll be fun fights. Fun fights, I think he'll put on a good show. But I don't think he'll win those fights. I think those guys are too big, too strong for him. Um, the size advantage will... Here's the thing. They're not just too big, too strong. They're very good boxers. Skill-wise, they're very, very talented. So, um, you know, it's not like he's moving up to fight some kind of, you know, brawler. That's not technical, but is bigger. No, these guys are not brawlers. They're they're boxer punchers, just like Mikey Garcia. Very dangerous fights. So I would want him to fight someone at welterweight, but not someone where there's a huge size advantage where you kind of expect him to lose anyways. I'd want him to fight. I think Danny Garcia is a good fight at 140. I think Terrence Crawford is the best fight for him at 140. Um, Terrence Crawford is honestly the best fight for him. It's, it, there's, there won't be too much of a size advantage. I know Terrence Crawford likes to blow up, um, you know, after the first weigh-in. But at the end of the day, they, they seem to pair up really nicely. Um, Terrence Crawford isn't too big. He's not as, as uh, bulky as, you know, Errol Spence. Um, and Mikey Garcia, I mean, he, he he's... He's a little bit in over his head going to welterweight thinking he can take on Keith Thurman or or Errol Spence. I, I like the drive. I like the shit talking. I like the, the um, you know, I like the idea of it. But if he's going to be serious, I think take on take on a, a, a fighter that was champion at 140 but left the division. And Terrence Crawford was undisputed. I think this is a great win for his resume. I think for both guys. Even if Terrence Crawford beats Mikey Garcia, I think that's a very, very, very good win for Terrence Crawford. And you know what? If Terrence Crawford were to fight Mikey Garcia, let's say, let's say Terrence Crawford beats Horn and then fights Mikey Garcia and beats Mikey. Mikey, in my opinion, would probably probably be the best fighter on his resume right on Terrence Crawford's resume so far Terrence Crawford's best fighter what is Gamboa right I wouldn't say Ndongo and Dongo hasn't shown that he's his best opponent he just got knocked out um so Mikey Garcia you know he, he's a that's a good matchup for Crawford what do you guys think who would you like to see him fight um yeah, that's pretty much it. Very good fight. But who would you like to see Mikey Garcia fight next? This is Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm out.